Hello everybody, welcome to Euro Channel. My name is Stefan Bundrock, I'm a urologist and sexologist. This is the first part of a new video series which I named Penis Around the World. In this video format we are going to look at penis size in different countries and parts of the world starting today with Nigeria. I will give you the numbers, explain what they mean and in the end I will go more into detail about average and standard deviation. This is because my video about normal penis size stirred a lot of controversy in the comments regarding the term average. I tried to keep it simple by using an expression I thought everybody of you knows and understands. Turns out, however, some of you really want to dig into the action in terms of standard deviation and normal distribution. So I'm going to explain that too. Why Nigeria? Because I received a lot of comments claiming that people of African descent own far more larger penises than Caucasians. Furthermore, for some reason, Nigeria is the African country with several studies on anthropometric measurements in the scientific literature. One word before I tell you the numbers. Some of you seem to be under the impression that everything I report here on Euro Channel is my own data. It is kind of flattering that you think so, but for real folks, that would be a superhuman scientific workload. I would be a scientist of such high reputation I will probably go for dinner at the WHO in New York tonight, taken there by Elon Musk in person, who insisted to drive me there after we had such a nice talk at the Kardashian party. So how do I get these numbers? I search scientific databases for peer-reviewed publications. I look at them and when I think they are of at least acceptable scientific quality, I give you a summary on Euro Channel. Okay, let's have a look at Nigeria. I found two studies worth mentioning with a total of 386 men as study subjects. Erect pina length was assessed by measuring the organ stretched. Now, there is good evidence out there that stretching a penis actually correlates remarkably well to its erect size. However, as I already pointed out, there is room for error in this method because a certain force has to be applied. In the study on 271 men attending to an outpatient clinic in a hospital in Nigeria, the average flaccid length was 10.3 centimeters with a standard deviation of 2.4 centimeters. The average stretched length was 13.7 centimeters with a standard deviation of 2.5 centimeters. Just to put this into a perspective statistically, 68.3% of the men assessed had a stretched penile length between 11.2 and 16.2 centimeters. This is roughly 4.5 to 6.5 inches. This means that 15.8% of the men were larger than 16.2 centimeters because we're talking normal distribution here, right? I will tell you in a minute what normal distribution means if you've never heard of it. Girth measurements were not taken in this study. The second study looked at 115 men aged 30 to 60 from the Nigerian Igbo tribe. The average stretched length was 13.37 centimeters with a median of 13.0 centimeters. The smallest penis measured 7.5 centimeters and the longest 19.5 centimeters. No girth measurements were done. So what does this mean? As you might recall from my 6 inch video, I was referring back to a British review which collapsed data of several studies and came up with nomograms for penile length and circumference. Looking at the data of nearly 15,000 men. Let's quickly go over this review again. Studies from many countries were included. The USA, Bulgaria, Greece, Turkey, Canada, Nigeria, Egypt, Germany, India, Italy, Iran, Scotland, Tanzania, Korea, France and Jordan. The overall mean stretched penile length was 13.24 cm with a 1.89 cm standard deviation. Mean erect length was 13.12 cm with a standard deviation of 1.66 cm. So in comparison, Nigeria doesn't really stick out, does it? 
And even if you want to insist on sexual stereotyping and say that the people of color raised the average and the Koreans brought it down, it doesn't change much. Let's pick the probably most colorless country from the bunch. Let's look at the results from Scotland. Sorry, Scotland, you know I love you. In the Scottish study, stretched penile length was 14.3 centimeters with a standard deviation of 1.68 centimeters. So in conclusion, if you still believe that men of African descent own a huge penis based on the data at hand, Nigeria is not the land of the blessed. But there is still a lot to discover and penis around the world will surely return to Africa. Maybe next time you'll discover where the really large penises grow. Make sure you don't miss a single episode of Penis Around the World and subscribe now, hit your like and activate the bell. When it rings, you know it's P day again. Now for the bonus material. What is standard deviation? In population based studies, we commonly assume that physical features are distributed throughout the population in a certain pattern. Most values gather around the average value and then you have some outliers on both ends. The standard deviation tells us how dispersed the data is in relation to the mean value. Within one standard deviation above and below, the average 68.3% of all data are gathered. Within two standard deviations above and below, you'll find 95.4% of all values. The median is a kind of average which is more robust to extreme values which would bring the average up or down. The median is the middle of the recorded values. Let's do an example. You have three values, 2, 4 and 15. For the average you add them up and divide them by 3. The average is 21 divided by 3 which is 7. For the median you put your numbers in a consecutive order and pick the middle which is 4. As you can see the median compensates for extreme values in the measured data and is closer to the real picture. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.